Boolean with jumble layout. So this whole sketch or diagram shows the rig journal layout. Please subscribe and press bell icon to receive more videos. This location is prepared with a reference of the seller center. So when we need to move any particular rig, so we need to take for that rig layout specification and we need to prepare the location according to that specific rig layout. For a particular rig there will be a specific distance from seller to engine generator house or to SCR or VFD. Similarly there will be particular distance from well center to the mud tank. So we, we need to follow the rig layout specification. So this is the cellar. Cellar is a whole dig on the surface of the ground. It is more or less five to six feet deep. And it can be circular shape or can be square shape and it accommodate the well heads so this one is sub base located on both sides of the cellar the sub base is substructure sub base whereas on the front side of the rig we have pet walk from where we can pick up drill pipe to the rig floor or we can lay down drill pipe from the rig floor to catwalk whereas on the both side of the catwalk we have pipe rack where we can place the drill pipe or any other tubular like heavyweight drill, drill collar and the casing over here we have choke 24 and beside the choke manifold we have for boy or mud gas separator whereas Whereas this is the area where we have the mud tanks. This is shield shaker tank, degasser, desilter, and descender. And this one is a centrifuge tank. Whereas over here we have reserve mud tanks. This can be active, and over here we can mix the mud inside the tank and LCM and other stuff whereas these are two water tanks that where we can store the fresh water for mixing the mud this is the water pit it is also dig inside the ground surface and is more or less four to five feet deep and that can store the water inside it for drilling operation. This one is cutting pit. It is also made on the ground surface where we dispose the cutting coming from the shield shaker. This and a desilter and centrifuge, and we can dispose the fluid related to the mud. This one is the flare pit where we can flare any gas content coming from the poor boy while well killing operation when we encounter an empty escape. This area is related to the cementing equipment. These three are cement silos. Over here is space for the cement truck or cement unit. 
So this is what we have to tank for the for storing the fresh water for cementing job. And this is the cement waste pit. We can use this waste pit for disposing any fluid related to the cement slurry. Or even we can dispose this fluid to this cutting in case if we don't have this cement waste pit. Over here, this is the storage area where we keep the pipe basket that contains the tubulars and all other stuff related to the drilling equipment. This is the chemical storage area where we can place the mud chemicals. This is the mud pump, three mud pumps located between the cellar and the engine house or SCR or VFT. So this is the SCR VFT that take power from the engine generator house and then distribute to the all rig equipment. And this one is the engine generator house. We have four engine generator house. And uh, this is the fuel tank where we store the fuel, diesel that supply fuel to the engine generator for generating the electricity. This is the entrance for the location and we may have the fence all around this location and over here can be the gate from where the vehicle and personnel are allowed to enter inside the location. This is the parking area where we can park the vehicles and this one is the mini camp where operator, contractor and service companies personnel will stay for the drilling operation. And uh, over here we have accumulator or uh, combing unit which will provide the hydraulic fluid under pressure to activate the BOP in case if we have the kick 